Hey, this is Ray Dombrowski. Today I want to show you a method in Adobe Illustrator that you can use to customize a look of using textures. And in this example, I'm going to show you sort of an ink stamp kind of look. So we're in Adobe Illustrator here, and this is a vector logo I created for a new texture collection. And if I turn the background to white, you can see that this everyday script has a stroke behind it. So what I want to do is let's just go ahead and lock that black background and I want to turn everything to outline. So anything that's a stroke or anything that's type, I want to turn it to outlines. So let's just select that all and then go object expand and then have all these checked, especially stroke and click OK. Now you can see that everything is an outline. What I want to do now is separate the light tan parts from the orange parts. So we'll just go down here in the Pathfinder to our Merge button and click Merge. And that kind of pancakes everything together. And everything now is either tan, orange, or black. Let me unlock that background again. And I'll just turn it back to white just so you can see. So I'm going to lock that. Let's use our little magic wand here. Let's select the orange and then shift select. We'll select the tan and then go select inverse. And that selects all the black and all the extra strokes. And we'll just hit delete. Now use a magic wand again and select the orange and go command X and then command shift V to paste in front, paste it back exactly where it was. And we'll hit group. So now if I use the selection tool, you'll see if I just click on the orange, it's only selecting the orange. If I click on the tan, it's only selecting the tan. There's a tiny little orange point here that I want to get rid of. So let's just delete that and I'm going to change that background back to black. So that's all looking good. So again, we have the orange and the tan. Let's go into our layers. Let's just select all that, go Command C, and let's make a new layer, and then go Command Shift V. So if I hide that bottom layer, you can see it's just a copy of that logo. But let's hide that new layer we just pasted and go back to our bottom layer here. So the next thing I want to do is add in a texture. So let's go ahead and place one of those in. Let's go File, Place, and we'll place in one of these 33 textures. I think this linen one is really nice. It's actually scanned off an old book cover and it just gives a really nice texture. So these textures are 12,000 by 12,000 pixels. So they're really huge, perfect for anything like t-shirt designs. The really nice thing about bitmap textures in Adobe Illustrator is you can assign them any color. So if I wanted this texture to be white, I could just turn it white. Obviously that looks bad. So I'll turn it back to black. But the other thing you might want to do is, especially if you're doing t-shirt design or you just want your background color to show through, what you can do is let's just select all of that. Now it's the texture selected and the orange and the tan. And we'll just go up here to our transparency window and click make mask. And now let me unlock that background again. If I turn the background to white, you'll see that it's knocking transparency through our design now. So, um, you know, if I change it to blue, that blue will show through. So that's really cool. Now, the next thing I want to show you is just another step into making your textures look even better. And this works great with logos and vector art. So let's go ahead and lock this bottom layer and turn on the visibility of that top layer. So you can't see the texture anymore. But what I want to do is let's select that orange and just turn it to a stroke. So I just swap fill and stroke there. Now, if I increase my stroke weight, you can see it really thickens up the design and that looks bad. But what I want to do is if you click this button right here, this will align stroke to inside. So if you increase your stroke weight, it doesn't thicken up your design. And you'll see it just gives a nice look to the edge of this texture. So the other thing we can do with this is roughen up 
the edges so it looks just that much more like an ink stamp. So let's go to Effects, Distort and Transform, and Roughen. And what you'll want to do is click the absolute on the size, and let's go ahead and preview. You can see how it's really rough right now. Let's turn that size down so it's just really subtle. So it's 0.01 inches. And you can experiment with different amounts of detail. And I think, say, 13 per inch looks pretty good for this design. The other thing we can do is let's do that with a tan. So let's go ahead, turn that to a stroke, and I'll turn the stroke weight up. You can see how it thickens up the design too much. So let's align stroke to inside, and that's starting to look really good. And just to finish it off, we can apply that exact same roughen effect. So let's just go apply roughen, and that is looking pretty good. The Everyday Textures Collection is part of T-Shirt Design Master Collection, my largest bundle of design resources, tutorials, workshops, textures, and mock-up templates. To find out more about T-Shirt Design Master Collection and Everyday Textures, just follow the link on this page. Thanks for watching.